Well, people across West Michigan have been enjoying all sorts of Halloween activities. One exciting event is happening right now in downtown Grand Rapids. News Ace Adriana Doria joins us live from Rosa Parks Circle to show us what's happening there. Adriana? Amber, Sue, yeah, it's definitely windy out. You heard it from Sarah, but that wind not stopping anyone from enjoying all of the Halloween festivities. Now, we're here at Rosa Park Circle in downtown Grand Rapids. You might be wondering what this giant monstrosity is behind me. I'll step out of the way so you can see. It's a 1,600-pound pumpkin. Now, they've been carving this thing for the past two hours. We don't know what they're actually carving it into. That's a big surprise. So we've got about another two hours until we find that out. But it's not just pumpkin carving here. There's a big event. People in costumes have been around enjoying for the past few hours. There's food trucks, vendors, face painting, and lots of fun out here to celebrate Halloween. They're also giving out free small pumpkins for the little ones all while supplies last, last and there's still some left here. Now I got a chance to talk with Randy Finch. He's the mastermind behind this pumpkin sculpture and the owner of Ice Guru. Now this year what keeps him coming back? He says it's the people and their support and reaction actions that keep him going. Take a listen. It's just the reaction we get. It's so cool to do public art and have kids come up and be inspired and talk and, and look at what can be done. So normally you look at a pumpkin and it's just the eyes and the mouth, but with this we can show them that look really not just pumpkins, but in anything in life, if you really want to push the envelope, you can change things beyond what people's imaginations are. <laughs> Yeah, this event will continue until 8 p.m. So if you want to see what this big pumpkin is going to turn out to be, make sure you come out to Rosa Park Circle. Make sure you bring a wool jacket. It's a little chilly, and it's definitely very windy. But again, we're excited to see what this will turn out to be. But for now, live in Grand Rapids, Adriana Doria, News 8.